What's up, YouTube? This is Tien, bringing you guys another um, installment in our efficiency series. We're going to be talking today about the add-ons that I use. And so I'll just get right into it. The two that I currently like the most are PoE Trade Macro and Mercury Trade. And I guess my disclaimer before I start getting really deep into it is that you know you should always do your research on whatever the the latest edition of the macro is. You know I did a ton of research basically seeing if they were allowed, not allowed, what what the macros actually do, what uh, what they do to your computer. You know I guess I have a healthy sense of skepticism when it comes to certain add-ons, and. Um, so these are the two that I like the most. I've tried out a lot of different ones. You know, as a streamer, I have to make sure that I'm not going to get banned for using something that's like illegal, for example. And so the two that I like the most, PoE Trade Macro and Mercury Trade. And so I'll show you guys what PoE Trade Macro does, which is a quick price checking tool, which will pop open. You know, here you can see the, the price of Acid Lake's map or the price of an Exalted Orb currently. And I'm just pressing Control D to do price checks at the moment. And um, you can press Control Q and it'll pop open the item in PoE.trade. So I press Control Q and it popped open another window for Acid Lake map. And you can see all the, uh, the listings for, for that particular map. Um, I find that to be pretty handy just for quickly price checking items, especially maps, especially currency conversion. Um, and sometimes uniques are a good one for that as well. Uh, the other add-on that I really like is uh, PoE Trade Macro. And uh, I had this question come up a couple times in some of my other videos where like, how are you teleporting to town and stuff like that? Um, well, Mercury Trade kind of handles all of the uh, trade interactions that you would need. So going to somebody's hideout, um, opening up dialogue boxes and things like that has different settings for uh, automatic whisper helpers. So you can, um, you know, have buttons for responses. So I have ones that say, you know, in map one minute, uh, thanks for trade and, you know, have it kick them from the party or whatever. And then you could say, you know, I bulk sell maps a lot. So I have how many, um, and I'm just scratching the surface on some of the stuff that Mercury trade can do, but, uh, it also has stuff like chat scanners, uh, where you can, you know, if you're one of those people that are looking for trials in one of the global chats or something like that, you can scan the chat for, you know, shrine of, or a trial of burning rage or trial of uh, painful truths or whatever. You can put in keywords and it'll search those for you. So those are two add-ons I really like a lot, but um, you know, I'm constantly evaluating different ones. So I think I tried Currency Cop for a little bit, um, Lab Compass for a little bit, um, and you know, I'm just constantly checking the updates, making sure that they're kind of savory with um, with the terms of service, and then um, you know using them and making myself a more efficient player. Anyways, that's it for this quick YouTube video. Hopefully you guys like this content. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them below. I'll also have links in the descriptions for the, the two macros that I recommend. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you guys next time.